I'm Lia Adam, channeling God. I'm God. I would like to talk today about the karma that humanity created toward the animal kingdoms from many ages in planet Earth. It is very heavy karma. It didn't happen in any other planets in the universe or any universes of the third dimension and other dimensions because they don't eat animals there. Maybe some fish could be, I don't think also that. They have fish in the oceans and sharks and dolphins in other planets in this universe and birds, but not many animals or kinds like in this planet. Planet Earth is very special planet and we sometimes don't even understand how so many varieties of animals manifested in this planet through time. We didn't think about it, it was created by itself. We didn't uh, want to create animals. We were surprised in the beginning time of this planet that animals manifested on this planet so many variety we feel sorry for them we love them and we are sad that human beings kill them for food and we feel sorry for many animals who suffered and go so very hard surviving don't have food enough we try to help the animal kingdom to incarnate fast to uh, another animal from life to life, more evolved, more strong, more big, until they are ready to incarnate as human being. And not always they incarnate in human being. They might not want or not ready. Different what animals, small animals cannot incarnate as human being, but uh, more big animals like donkey and uh, big dogs or uh, dolphins and more evolved animals. In ancient time, we couldn't even do that, incarnate any animals uh, to become human beings. Now the uh, frequency is higher in the tunnel of light and the high dimensions, and we can lift their soul after death to some place where it belongs to the animal kingdom, help them to make transitions even before they incarnate again to become as human being in the high dimension sometimes. It's not high dimensions where the human being ascended, it's other dimension that we created for the animal kingdom. Sometimes don't want to incarnate as a human being because if they were killed and people eat them, the big animals like the cow and pigs, they can understand and remember after they die that they were killed to be eaten and they are very angry and they hate human beings. They don't want to be human beings. It creates very bad karma towards the animal kingdom and the second the planet to low frequency. The animal not belong to human beings, they belong to divinity, they were created by divinity and they are not for you to eat, they were not created for human beings to eat. In ancient time, we are in some situation when they had no choice or they might die, but today you have plenty of food, you don't need to eat animals. It's not healthy to eat animals. They can create diseases because of the virus and all kinds of negativity in the body, germs. People have stomach pain and all kinds of pain and diseases. They don't understand it's because of the animal they eat. We pray that humanity will stop eating animals, but we don't believe in that because most of the people in the 
planet Earth does it animals I'm God feel sorry for the animal kingdom in planet Earth that they've been abused by humanity not just killed for food but abused not respected to be the soul the dog downstairs is making noise now <laughs> the right time in the yard it is important that you will understand that you are creating bad karma by eating animals even if you didn't kill them because you are not sensitive for animals maybe also for human life you've been in past lives and therefore many people don't have problem to kill animals and to eat them because they used to kill human being in past life so much so what the big deal to kill animals I don't know how can they eat all this disgusting big animals from the ocean not really big but big compared to the fish it's very unhealthy people think it's delicious try please dear people I'm God asking you try to not eat animals you will be more healthy and understand that the animals are also very important to the planet for many reasons they make the earth strong also the trees are keepers of the planet it's not good to cut them too much they are very important they are strengthening the earth Mother Earth and help the weather and the sun to transfer energy. It is very important to understand that everything was created for a reason and to respect all living life on Earth, not to abuse the trees also, to let them breathe, to give them space, give them light and water not to cut them enjoy the nature with respect Mother Earth feel everything she is a living life she leaves, she opens her eyes and see as God above the earth. She lives within the earth and out of the earth. She is a big spirit who can go out of the earth in past souls to different dimensions and watch above the earth plane and within the earth. In the center of the earth there is a big ball of diamond, ancient in most planets. Very ancient diamond with crystals and living life inside it of small beings like fairies, feminine, not so many left in this age. other beings under the earth above the ball of crystals like small human beings so not too many left in this age there were many groups of them under the many big centers of the planet 
especially where there is big gates of the planet in big cities, under them there were these small people who are half size as you or a little bit more and they lived very simple life in nature and could breathe there because there is a big space there open space but no sky the dogs downstairs make lots of noise in this video disturbing us for a reason remind us that they exist I was speaking about the small people under the earth some of them succeeded to go in some pathways that there are in some places in this planet to the surface of the earth it amazed us and they were amazed when they saw the sky and the sun and the air and the people they came back down to tell the other people about it it was very hard for them, some of them died in the way or died here because they had no food and nobody helped them This happened in the area of Mount Chasta in California, north of California in uh, America. In Egypt there were many, many small people under the earth. Now they are less because we try to help them incarnate and die and not having uh, many births. They live in groups work a little bit in the nature, their life are very primitive and difficult. Some people fell to live there because of bad karma after they were here in the past more and return here after they die again. If they were very violent and cruel in ancient time, some big people from the Maya were very evil they felt to be small people down there and lose their power because of their karma. In this age, Mother Earth helped divinity to kill these people so they will die and born again on the surface of the earth or maybe in another planet or stay in the higher dimension for a while because they suffer under the earth it's not easy they are more evolved now more awakened and more understanding that they don't deserve life like this they feel not good and they want to die so slowly we hope that not long time will continue till there will be no more human being under the earth. Inside the big crystals and diamond of the earth, which is huge and big, it's not really first, but it's being like a fairy, feminine and not very physical, are also transcendent to high dimensions. They live there for many ages and didn't die some of them, not many just as female 